Well, Pittsburgh is heading to Seattle for the first time since 2015, and it will be pitting two of the winningest coaches in NFL history against each other. Coach Tomlin is in 14th with 179 combined wins, while Pete Carroll has one more and sits in 13th place. It's time now for your keys to the game presented by your neighborhood Ford store. Let's send it back one final time to Bob and Coach. Guys. All right, Missy, thanks very much. Seattle, Pittsburgh, it's a big game. Both teams, eight and seven, coming in. You're going to see a couple of former Steelers out there. It looks like Devin Bush has been playing, but also Artie Burns has become a regular because of some injury in that game. Yeah, both guys have been playing really well um, and contributing to their efforts. It'll be good to see those guys. It's always good to see guys move on in their careers and continue to feed their family and have success. Um, but in regards to us, obviously, there'll be a secondary component of of what transpires in the stadium. Uh, we got to play, um, but they have to play as well. And I think that's something that has my attention this time of year as the road gets narrow. It's the group that doesn't blink. It's the group that, that does normal things, that doesn't act abnormal uh, because of circumstance. Uh, we got to smile in the face of adversity, the urgency of, of late December ball and and hopefully we play like that. The team that does usually has got a chance to win in those circumstances. And the team that normally does doesn't make mistakes. And your quarterbacks largely have not done that, Mason included last week, with no turnovers, two touchdown passes. That element of it and the fact that you're at a very loud environment, very big, I, I would imagine, for the quarterback or anyone on your offense. Ball security is going to be huge, uh, not only environmentally, but just knowing Pete, as long as I've known Pete, uh, fundamentally I know – that, that ball searching is something that they value. Um, you see it on their video, guys raking at balls and chase. Uh, the sack fumble game is a big component of what they do. And so we better take care of the football if we wanna, if we wanna overcome Seattle and the environment. How important is the run game in this one, given the fact that you're on the road and in a lot of places? It's important. Um, it's important because we better not be behind the chains. Um, so you can't have a negative run game. You can't be highly penalized. That puts you one dimensional behind the chains in an environment like that um, is a recipe for disaster. You mentioned Pete Carroll. You don't really see him on a regular basis, but you've known him over all these years. Uh, do you have the same sort of um, you know, relationship when it comes to knowing a coach like you would in your own division, only he's not in your division? Without question. Pete's been doing it at a high level for such a long time. Uh, he's really good friends with Monty Kiffin, my former boss, who was a defensive coordinator for us years ago. Uh, when I was in Tampa. Pete used to be the head coach at Southern Cal. We'd go out there and spend time with him. He'd come to Tampa and spend time with us. Um, and so those waters run deep. Philosophically, I understand where he's aligned, but I'm sure that he feels similarly about me. Um, and so there's some intimacy there. All right, Coach, all the best this week. Look forward to a great game.